Hello, welcome to Lay's Looking Glass. Let's make our curious minds soar and explore if the Three Gorges Dam in China could change the Earth's environment. You might be thinking, wait, Three Gorges Dam affects China's environment, but isn't it too exaggerated to claim that it could alter the entire planet's environment? Actually, what we'll explore today is even more sensational. We're talking about if the world's largest dam has changed the tilt of the Earth's axis and the state of our planet's crust. Could the dam really have such serious consequences? Where did this shocking theory come from? Let's first review how the dam came about. The Three Gorges Dam is one of the most ambitious engineering projects in history. Many believe the idea came from Mao Zedong, who famously mentioned it in one of his poems. However, the idea actually predates Mao. As early as 1919, the founder of the Republic of China, Dr. Sun Ye Sun, proposed the construction of a dam in Yichang, Hubei, on the Yangtze River. His vision was to generate electricity and boost the region's economic potential by allowing continuous shipping from Shanghai to Wuhan and Chongqing. The ROC government didn't act on it until 1944, when they invited John Savage, the chief engineer of the Hoover Dam, to study the project's feasibility. Savage deemed it feasible and even drafted a plan. The Republic of China thus began preparations However, the project was soon abandoned due to lack of funding and the breakout of civil war with the communists. After the Communist Party won the civil war and drove the ROC government to Taiwan, Mao Zedong revisited the idea while touring the Three Gorges. He wrote a poem with the phrase, a high gorge emerges forming a calm lake. Between the 1950 and 1970, Chinese engineers continued studying the feasibility of the dam. Due to lacking technical support and funding, it was not pursued until the late 1980s when China embraced economic reforms. However, the project attracted intense debates. Supporters argued the benefits from energy, flood control, and improved navigation. Opponents warned of ecological disasters and the risk that a dam failure could endanger hundreds of millions of people downstream. In 1992, the project's biggest supporter, then Premier Li Peng, formally submitted the proposal and it was approved. Construction began in 1994. After $31 billion and 15 years, the dam was completed in 2009. In 2024, a shocking theory emerged on social media. The Three Gorges Dam and Reservoir may have altered the Earth's axial tilt. The Three Gorges Reservoir holds 39.3 billion cubic meters of water, which accounts for only 6.6 .6 trillionth of Earth's total mass, seemingly insignificant. So could it really shift the Earth's axis? This theory was not invented by conspiracy theorists. It was proposed by Professor Zhao Feng, a researcher in Taiwan and a former NASA scientist. Professor Zhao's explanation is that natural disasters such as tsunami, earthquakes, and volcano eruptions all have an impact on physical properties of the Earth. These events can affect the Earth's rotation speed and the tilt of its axis. Man-made large-scale engineering projects can also exert similar effects. Originally, the Three Gorges region did not contain such a large volume of water. After the Yangtze River was dammed and the reservoir was filled, a massive amount of water was concentrated in one location. This localized change in mass distribution caused the Earth to adjust itself as a whole to adapt to the new weight distribution. Professor Zhao stated that the construction of the Three Gorges Dam has caused the Earth's axis to shift by two centimeters. In addition to affecting the axial tilt, Zhao's further calculations found that the storage of water in the Three Gorges Reservoir has caused the Earth's rotation speed 
to slow down by a fraction of a millisecond per day. Because this change is extremely small, humans cannot perceive it. If the reservoir were completely drained, the Earth would readjust back to its previous state. A two-centimeter shift may seem small. However, it seems that every point on Earth has moved by two centimeters to adapt to the dam's water storage. Professor Zhao pointed out the two-centimeter shift caused by the dam's massive water storage could either mean a slight change in the tilt angle of the Earth's axis or a two-centimeter displacement of the axis relative to the Earth's surface. If the second scenario is true, the North and South Poles have moved by two centimeters, resembling the pole shift hypothesis proposed by geologist Charles Hapgood. His theory claims that Earth's crust could suddenly shift, dramatically changing climate patterns. To explain this theory, imagine the relationship between the Earth's crust and inner layers. The relationship is not like the skin and flesh of an apple, where both layers are tightly connected. Instead, it's more like the peel and flesh of an orange, where the peel is connected to the flesh loosely by thin fibers. Now, imagine spinning the orange rapidly, just like how the Earth rotates at 1,600 kilometers per hour. The thin fibers connecting the peel to the flesh will be stretched very tightly due to this high-speed rotation. If a sudden powerful force disrupts some of these fibers, the orange peel could shift independently from the flesh, moving as a whole until the remaining fibers pulled it to a stop. Our planet's crust can suddenly shift as a whole relative to its inner structure, moving a significant distance within a very short period. This short period refers to a time frame that humans can perceive, perhaps a few hours to even a few days. By the time it settles in a new position, the peel's alignment with the flesh has changed. If this happened on Earth, it would mean that the entire crust shifted without plate tectonic movement. This will cause drastic climate changes across the planet. The Three Gorges Reservoir, by concentrating a huge mass of water in one area, is like adding weight to one side of the spinning orange. While this isn't enough to make the peel dramatically shift, it does create a small but measurable impact. The dam alone isn't powerful enough to cause a massive pole shift, but its effects could be amplified by other geological forces, such as earthquakes. After the Three Gorges Reservoir was filled, the pressure at the dam's foundation increased and more water seeped into the underlying rock structures. This altered the groundwater levels in the reservoir area and led to an increase in seismic activity. For a reservoir as large as the Three Gorges, the probability of triggering earthquakes exceeds 10%. Apart from earthquakes, Prolonged water submersion has also increased the likelihood of landslides or collapses. More importantly, the Three Gorges Reservoir is located near several active geological fault lines, including the Longmengshan Fault Zone, the Qingling Fault Zone, the Eastern Yunnan Seismic Belt. If a major earthquake occurs in these areas, it could trigger a chain reaction exacerbating the geological hazards already present in the reservoir region. A far more serious risk would arise if major shifts occurred in the Indian Plate or the South China Sea Plate, if such an event led to severe geological deformations in the Three Gorges region, it could become the final straw that triggers a global catastrophe. In such a case, the violent collision and compression of several major tectonic plates could suddenly disrupt a localized area's equilibrium, forcing the entire Earth's crust 
to adjust itself in response. The result, a true pole shift, possibly ranging from a few meters to tens of meters or even kilometers, which could fundamentally alter our planet's overall environment. Yes, it's theoretically possible. The Tibetan Plateau, located west of the Three Gorges, is one of the most geologically active regions in the world. The Indian Plate continuously pushes beneath the Eurasian Plate, creating a collision between two thick, dense continental plates, an event that produces immense geological stress. As a result, the Tibetan Plateau remains one of the most seismically active regions on the planet. For many years, scientists have believed that the lower crust of the Tibetan Plateau is exceptionally thin, extremely hot, and may even behave like molten lava flowing beneath the surface. However, a research team from the California Institute of Technology has proposed a completely different explanation. According to Caltech geophysics professor Jean-Philippe Avoque, seismic data reveals that beneath the Tibetan Plateau, the lower crust is not molten lava, but rather a solid and extremely rigid crust originating from the Indian Plate. Avoque's research suggests that fault lines within the Tibetan Plateau can be categorized into two distinct types. In southern Tibet, faults extend primarily in an east-west direction. In northern Tibet, faults extend both north-south and east-west. The Caltech team proposes that the Indian plate is forcefully pushing beneath southern Tibet and, at the same time, is locking the upper crust in place. The unique movement of the Indian Plate has resulted in the Tibetan Plateau experiencing both ongoing uplift and frequent earthquakes. Thus, if unexpected geological events were to occur in this highly active region, it could theoretically trigger major geological shifts in the Three Gorges region, leading to wider crustal movement. In other words, a catastrophic pole shift event will occur. Of course, all of this remains within the realm of scientific speculation. The pole shift hypothesis is merely a theory. While the Three Gorges Dam may or may not alter the planet's entire system, its impact on the regional ecosystem and climate is undeniable. Hydropower projects disrupt the natural flow of a river and often cause irreversible damage to river ecosystems, leading to geological consequences that are difficult to predict in the short term. By the late 20th century, the unintended consequences of large-scale hydropower projects had become evident during the 1980s feasibility studies of the Three Gorges project. Chinese scientists were fully aware of the risks. However, in a country where leaders are attached to mega infrastructure projects, the dam moved forward despite heated debate, leaving behind what some considered a geological time bomb for the planet. Let me know what you think by leaving me comments. That's all for today. If you like my program, please like and share. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.